All right, so in this video, I want to show you, um, this has been one of my uh, videos that I've done in the past for Easy PLC's Machine Simulator. Um, now it's called Machine Simulator 4.2. Um, so it's actually progressed a lot more over the years. And um, and again, uh, that's from you know my efforts in, in showing them where things have went wrong with Rockwell, because I'm mainly a Rockwell-based type guy. And then other people showing them where it went wrong or what needs to be fixed on like Siemens and other stuff like that. Um, in this one, in this this case, I, to, you know, like I said, I always use this software as a challenge. Um, so I'm trying to challenge myself if I feel like I'm weak in one area or something like that. So I wrote it in sequential function chart. Okay, so very similar, uh, but kind of like a, a, a step machine. Our, our state machine if you would right so you got step one coming in here it does all this stuff you have stops in here um, which you can easily see and let me see if I can just throw this in I don't want to slow it down uh, let me see if I can just throw it in like a, a spe different speed let's let's go and change the speed a little bit but let's also go to like, you know, like a flying camera. And that way you can kind of see a little bit better what's going on. <clears throat> let's see. No 3D camera, drone, let's do drone. All right, so I'm going to shrink this back down so that you can easily see and like like i said this is a, a simulated software a simulated machine where a machine has its own io right it has its own io it has a a stop right here the crate comes down and and then this it the stop gets the crate gets stopped by this by the, obviously the the stop and then the robot sits the engine inside the crate <clears throat> there is another stop right here where the engine comes up and it's going to hit that there's an inductive switch when it hits that inductive switch it's going to then be picked up by the robot so i am sending it commands by the robot through here and then it's going to pick up the road or pick up the engine and put it in the crate again when the crate is at the position of the stop <clears throat> so there's two stops in, involved in this and there's again a, an inductive switch right here which is a failure eye right so you can tell similar to what's going on and i'm telling the robot hey go home go you know i'm, I'm in 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 structured or, or sequential function chart you have structured text that you're using so it's kind of like you the way you write it you know you're going to have to t if you tell it to come on on one step on another step you're going to have to tell it to come off like the st the stops right here stops one and two i tell them come on at the same time i also tell the robot to go home and in later on I'll tell the stop to go down right let's see uh, right here I say stops one and two go down so you can see both the t both the stops when it hits to the the certain point like step two right here like we'll just wait till the process goes and we'll, sh well I'll show you this real quick you can see on step two that when step two happens it's going to come to step one Step two is going to happen, and then both the stops are going to come up. And when both the stops come up, and now it's waiting on the inductive switch. It's waiting on the inductive switch to transfer, and that switch is right here. Okay, that's that failure wire, right? So it's in indu an inductive switch. I call it an inductive switch. I mean, that's what it's called in the, in the actual ma machine simulator. So it's not really a, a big deal. You can name it whatever you want to, failure wire. Um, you know sensor signal whatever the case may be uh, whatever your you know your your culture so with that said I just wanted to show you you know one of the machines that I've done in the past that I've again kind of retooled myself with um, like if I wanted this, this to stop real quick I don't really have a stop uh, per se put in there but if I just said okay I don't want it to run anymore what's gonna happen is it's gonna finish its process it's going to come up here to step one and it's not going to transition. It's going to wait. So everything in step one is done, which is it's done right here, but it's waiting on this start. Come on. So it's not actually going to do anything inside of like 
putting any more engines on a crate short of you know if I, if I were to you know hit that start again so if I hit the start one more time just like this and there and in a real world you can have a stop or start button or start start push button station I've I put a start start stop station on here before um, on one of my videos you can easily look that stuff up on the um, on the search tab of this channel but when it comes down to it I just wanted to show you this is a very 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 versatile tool to help you retool yourself help you better yourself help you you know really think about stuff and challenge yourself if you you know you get to that point because we we often get kind of put in a place where we're complacent and with that said we want to go ahead and you know try to better ourselves as as best we can in any shape with, it, with any shape form or fashion or fashion that we possibly can because if we don't you know you don't know what's going to happen in the future but you have to be prepared for what's going to happen in the future and if you're not prepared for what's going to happen in the future then what's going to happen is you're going to you're going to, that fear of whatever like if something changes say the company goes through a restructure or you lose your job or something like that just remember when do one door shuts another door opens but if you're you have to be ready for that door when it opens so this is again why i use the tool and again the machine simulator is uh, a one-time fee so i don't use factory io because it's a it's a subscription-based system it's very expensive it's not so uh, user-friendly for as opc um there's <clears throat> when it comes down to it you have a yearly renewal um with easy plc or with machine simulators what it's called now with nurtech um you basically pay a one-time fee i have a usb license i highly recommend the usb license because you can take it from one computer to another computer and you don't have to worry about it as long as you have that usb plugged in you don't have to worry about it because you are licensed so again it's it's meant for it's it was built for the people that want to better themselves to better themselves at a low cost and i think they did a really really good job at it but um when it comes down to it i just wanted to show you this process and how i built this process and how i went through and thought about the process but also why i do what i do so with that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video and we'll see you guys on the next one